an important plant in forest management as an indicator of moist or wet sites is the devil's club. Also a really important medicinal plant. Um, so it's a shrub species. So it has a woody stem. And if you get a good pair of gloves and scrape off that outer bark and all the spines, on the inside is a nice green inner bark. And that can be made into things like salves that are really good for arthritis treatments um, and other uses for the Devil's Club. So a very important medicinal plant, um, but important species to know. There goes my neighbor's dog, Ava. Um, for helping us do site identification that we'll talk about more later in the program. Not the best species to work in. Um, the spines get into your skin and they'll stay there for a couple weeks before they work their way out. Um, so it can be quite painful and really uncomfortable. Very large maple shaped leaf. There's my hand for a scale. Um, it gets one to three meters tall. So this is a short one. It's probably about one meters tall. Um, to give you an idea of where this is growing, I'm in a bit of a draw. So you can see some more Devil's Club growing up in the draw or just the depression on the landscape. And then the hill moves its way up there. So on this site, it's not the most wet of sites. So we're only finding Devil's Club in the depressions. So the flowering structure, be, structure is like a spire almost coming out the top of the plant. Um, and then it'll become these bright red shiny berries. They're pretty much all devoured by the looks of it now, but it will be a fairly large. It's really pretty when they have a full clump of berries on them. So the book decide, describes it as a terminal cluster. So again, those spines all along the woody stem. The stems are generally fairly crooked. They'll be single stem. They kind of get entangled, um, growing kind of all over the place. Um, and then another important key characteristic if that's not enough to make it obvious what it is, are the spines on the underside of the leaves as well. You can see them growing, especially along that, the main veins of the underside of the leaf.